Welcome everyone, it's me, RP Jimmy, along with Bill, and we are continuing on with WrestleQuest. It is a <clears throat> WrestleMania weekend live stream, and Bill, a uh, little bit of announcement, kind of, I guess you would say here. Well, firstly, I think I, think I started my day off a little sickly, um, mm -hmm. so I'm going to warn people about that right now. Um, but secondly, we kind of put together what our idea of a schedule might be for this game. Yes. Do you want to share with the people about uh, the WWE and AEW pay-per-view idea? Yes. So, pretty straight front, um, whenever there is a WWE or AEW pay-per-view, um, if we are both available, we will do a live stream the afternoon of the show. Mm -hmm. So we are doing one today for night two of WrestleMania 40. In two weeks, we will do it again for AEW Dynasty. And then we will figure out the rest of the schedule on our way. So, And I will mention, I think the best way for people to find out about if we're doing one of these or not is just our social media you know, sometimes mm -hmm. some things happen in life and we might not be able to do it, but that's our internal goal to kind of put ourselves on a schedule here. Right. Now, also, for those that might be joining in right now, um, I'm open to hearing anything that people have seen WrestleMania weekend. Uh, if you guys can dictate what we talk about um, as far as that goes. However, yeah, we also are going to continue playing this game. I've, you might notice that this is a pretty decent way into the game. Well, on the YouTube page, which is official RP Jimmy, starting today, later on, we're going to go weekly, temporarily, and I believe we've done about 10 parts of this already. Yeah. So I think only this is only the third part that will be um, that's airing today. So, mm -hmm. And this will obviously be re-aired on the YouTube page afterwards. Yes. Um, whenever that comes about. Bill, tell me a little bit about your quick thoughts on WrestleMania Night 1 before we go into this section. All right. So my thoughts on Night 1 of WrestleMania, I thought it was a good show. Uh, the last two matches pretty much saved the, the show for me because you had a good opening match ladder match was decent and then the middle was kind of forgettable mm. especially the jay and jimmy uso match that was like the big disappointment of night one for me mm. but the intercontinental title match gunther and Sami Zayn, and the tag team main event which really exceeded my expectations uh were the two best matches of night one and if you don't want to watch the whole show, at least watch the last two matches of night one, because you will get your money's worth on that. So FYI, I did watch all of night one already. I finished it up this morning, so I will be able to talk about my thoughts. And then also I watched that Raw that you told me and that you suggested. So mm -hmm. I'm actually, I'm not going to say I'm caught up on WWE. I mean, I'm, I like to think that. You know, there's a whole bunch of stories I don't know about, but right, I have a better right. idea than I did 24 hours ago, for sure. Mm -hmm. And again, folks, I am battling what seems to be a little bit of a cold, so you might hear a cough or a sneeze. These voices are probably going to be a struggle for me in certain times, so bear with right. me. We will. We are planning to be here for two hours, um, at least. I might stay on a little bit longer, depending. Um so let's let's go do a little bit of this game here for now. So who was Bruder again? You, you're Bruder. I am Bruder. All right, here you go. All right. That looks like the altar from the Lizard Village, brother. Except the magic stone is missing, man. Do you think? Wait. Listen. Do you smell that? Yeah. Reminds me of a captain's platter. What? What is that? What does that even mean? I've never heard of a captain's platter. We may, we may have to look that, that out later. Yeah. El Paz, he stole the magic stone. Do 
you be bard boy. Bad boy. Uh, oh, uh, bad boy. That's yeah. right. He's a nice. Oh, yeah. God. Okay. Nice job, Rad God. <laughs> I'll be Rad God. Uh, what would Rad God sound like? Yeah. Well, you could probably sound like how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> the creatures of this cave don't stand a chance against my rad NATO. Did you know? Oh god, I hate when people say, did you know? Because usually, it's like right. something I don't care about. I always make fun of um, one of the guys I work with, because he does that a lot. He goes, did you know? And I'm like, oh god. He's like, I didn't say anything. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like no, you're going to say, did you know that the Mayans were actually camels and followed the Muslim <laughs> religion? Like, it's going to be something that I don't care about at all. The Mayans were camels. <laughs> yeah. And they followed the Muslim religion until 1865, and then they started living in pyramids. Did you know that? I'm like, no, I didn't, and I also did not care. <clears throat> <laughs> the creatures in this cave don't stand a chance against my rad NATO. Did you know? <laughs> Save, it, worm. Save it, worm breath. I gave you a compliment, not an invitation to a conversation. The sheep and the fish are working together, but why? <laughs> Sounds like a nursery rhyme gone wrong. Hermano, do you think Bad Boy is trying to get some extra juice for his belt with Jacques Saz? <laughs> Doubtful. Higher level matches like theirs are always scripted. And bad boy is supposed to win anyway. Gah! More manipulation. More falsification of wrestling reality. Hey man, he has creative control of his contract. <laughs> now, hey man, should we follow that petting zoo that just walked out of here? No. I have a better idea. Come on, we need to get back to the safari outpost. Confront bad boy. We'll, uh, we'll get the bad boy a little later on. Bad, 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 bad boy. Uh, here you want, were you Jake? You could be Jake. All right. The big wrestling, or the big news today, as you all know, is the Military Wrestling League send-off. The, ML, the MWL has given us some great matches from the glory field. It's a shame to see them go. Bang! Even worse, <clears throat> even worse without them there, the glory fields will be wide open for invaders. Uh, in any case, per, uh, uh, what, what would I sound like? Okay. In any case, promotion like PAW and LCW are sending in some stars for a grand finale to this organization. Let's take a look. Roll Todd. <laughs> Well, we're back here again. After all that leveling up I did with Muchacho, man, I don't even get to enjoy it. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm Stag, sorry. Yeah. I can only say I'm sorry so many times, because... Wait, why? Why is he saying I'm sorry? Yeah, what What happened? I don't remember. <laughs> we found the itty-ditty-bitty bag. I remember that much. Yeah. That's the last thing I remember. Yeah, all right. I know. I told you already. It's ice under the bridge. Just forget about it. Unlike Bill Goldberg. <laughs> well, this is me. Yeah. The important part is that we recover this magnificent wrestling artifact. Indeed. The mission was definitely a success. Sarge should be thrilled. And so should you, right? On behalf of your home. See. What what happened anyways to cause the dishonor you're so intent on redressing? Oh god, are we getting a backstory? I think so. I think we are. Wrestling is the very foundation of San Sebastian del Encordado, where I come from. Our home, our history, is built on wrestling. With every breath, we fill our lungs with it. Don't you mean gills? 
Oh wait, no, that was Muchacho Man. <laughs> so, when my father was demasked during a mugging and his mask was stolen, he was crushed. Since then, I consider it a point of honor to properly preserve wrestling artifacts, whomever they may belong to. Lochador, I think I speak for all of us when I say that you should be the one to present Sergeant Slaughter with his itty bitty ditty bag. Really? Senior Logan, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I will not forget how you you two have helped me this day. That was noble of you. Come on, let's get back to Mr. Font to get the details for our matches. I still don't know what he's sorry for. Run down first, smack down later. Oh yeah, we're back at Camp Diet. So Bill, I have to say, after watching the Raw that you told me to, mm -hmm. and WrestleMania last night, I'm going to admit to you, there is definitely a difference than what it was when I was last watching. Right. For sure. There's, other than the Rock and Roman Reigns, there's like less part-timers it seems like. Yeah. Um, let's say Viento. I got here late for the MWL send-off, and now I can't leave. Why? Why can't he mm. leave? You can't leave. Uh, the one thing I will say, though, is... My God. How... From night... I don't know if this is like, been WWE, or if this is just because it's WrestleMania, but... Mm -hmm. How much advertisement can one possibly get thrown at? Oh, my God, yeah. I think <laughs> that in... I would be surprised if you could find me five minutes in that entire show where some sort of advertisement was not being thrown at you. And you know what? I'll even give you that the prime on the actual ring mat doesn't count. I'll even exclude that. I still okay. think there's not five minutes that something's not thrown directly or indirectly in your face. Um, okay. This is my third tour at Camp Diet. I'm starting to get used to the food. That may not be a good thing. No, it might not be. Alright, let's just get to some story here. We'll I'll talk more about night one and we'll preview. Maybe in hour number two, we'll preview um night two. Yeah. Cause I will say this, the other thing, I don't know how you felt, but I don't know. There's some there, I didn't watch night one live when it happened. Like I watched right. it this morning. Well, I watched some of it live, but it did feel to me that Today was, today is way, way more important than night one was. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, lock on. Yeah, our first move is to take out the radar arrays at Tattletail Heights. Big oh, the, I was Big Daddy Squeeze because I'm Nish. Hey. Okay. That'll help cover their arrival. I just sound lazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't... They, they won't be able to see anything coming. Uh, uh, perfect. First they'll march in, and then B.A.W. will come on strong. What was that about? Huh? Oh, it's you. Mind your business, Greenhorns. Come on, Brink. Let's just focus on Mr. Font's meeting. I don't remember what Mr. What Elephant is supposed to be doing, exactly. Well, I guess it's in that building. All right. Or that tent, I should say. Right. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that's up, that noticed, like, the blatant, all well, the advertisement. Oh, man. You couldn't miss it. Uh, oh, God. That's right. I'm LF Font, and I have to hold my nose. What a... <laughs> <sighs> all right, here I go. Let me blow my nose first. Huh? I'm sorry. Luckily, it's not, a, it's not a terrible cold. Obviously, I... If it was terrible, I wouldn't... But I definitely don't yeah. feel right, for sure. Yeah, we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Today. All right, gather around, my sweaty wrestling brethren. 
Here's how our matches will go down for the MWL Farewell Celebration. You've all met our newest guys, Brink and Stag Logan, the honest books, right? This is their first time with PAW, but they have a lot of experience courtesy of NCW. Oh, that's where you guys are from? That explains it. Explains what? Why you guys are such backcountry yokels. Oh, your breaks you choose. Oh, okay, hold on. And what exactly is your excuse? Too much expired juice. <laughs> Guy. Or even oh, us country God. boys know that juice would rust that chain mail of yours, idiot. Oh, uh, I I think I'll go with the first one. And what exactly is your excuse? Too much expired juice. You got it. Keep talking, Hick. And we'll settle this in the locker room instead of the ring. Call it, Squeezy. The Honest Bucks will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with United Front, a story tag team from the MWL. Its members, Green Barrett Bradshaw and the Rangers, are here with us now. Oh, did we have well, someone assigned for the Ranger? Oh, you, I, I... you be the Ranger. Okay. Logan boys, huh? I've heard the name. Your family has a good reputation. Well, I guess I'll be Green Barrett Bradshaw. I guess I'll just... I'll look... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to regular. I look forward to our match. I'm running out of voices. I don't... Yeah. And I don't have a list either. It's just like I try to remember off the top of my head. All right. The United Front is popular both inside the MWL fan base and beyond. So, I'll be upsetting... So, it'll be upsetting for many when you two beat them. Dang, maybe I spoke too soon. The idea is to set up the Honest Bucks as heels. They'll cheat to win. That way, when they go up against Big Daddy Squeeze later in the evening, they'll catch nothing but heat from the crowd. Should give us a nice pop. Eh. Eh. Who needs pop when you've got juice? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the matches will set up BDS gear as the Avenger of United Front, and by extension, the rest of the MWL. It'll be like MWL story lives on with him in PAW. That's that's really great, Mister Bond. Boy, that sounds like <laughs> that he is not down with this at all. That doesn't work for him, brother. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now. The MWL celebration takes place over at Sergeant Slaughter's statue. I'll see you boys there. Can't wait to smash can't wait to smash you two chumps in the ring. Ha In the big time, but still jobbing the puffed up oafs like that, eh? Some things never change, do they? Come on. We're brand new. We've still gotta put some time in. Yeah, you're right. I hope. Exit camp and head to Sergeant Slaughter's statue. Great. Right. Oh, who are you? General M. Living quarters aren't much, but it keeps us focused on stopping the IEW invasion. Who's IEW? Yeah, I don't. Boy, this is story. This, this some of this stuff is all over the place. Right. So, Bill, um, I'm gonna look for a store. Tell me what other shows, what other wrestling news have you heard from shows this weekend? Okay, so let's see. Uh, yesterday, NXT stand and deliver. Um. The big news from that show is they announced a new women's title, the NXT Women's North American title. Mm -hmm. Because we because we need more titles in wrestling, obviously. Right. <sighs> and and it actually looks nice. Like the belt design is great. Um, so that's the big news as far as like news goes. There was one title change, but um, 
other than that, that was really the big thing there. Um, with let's see, the other now the show that I watched, I started it last night. It started after WrestleMania. Okay. And wow, I that's watched, late. Then. Yeah. Because what know, time did WrestleMania right? end last night? I didn't watch was, live, so it was after eleven. Oof. Okay, so, so that had to have started at like eleven thirty at least. Uh, I think it was no, it was a few minutes after midnight. God. So it was Game Changer Wrestling. <gasps> oh, I did want to see that show. Actually, is that the the clusterfuck battle royal yes. or whatever? <laughs> yes. So, so they had two matches. The first match was the one that I watched. Was the Punjabi prison match? Oh my god. And... <laughs> Okay, so there's two things with that. One, the design was not as grandiose as when WWE did it. I was going to ask that. I was like, does G- does uh, Game Changer have that kind of budget? <laughs> and unfortunately, it was the best Punjabi prison match ever because all the other ones are terrible. Wait, 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 you say all the other ones. Weren't there like two? Three. Oh. There were like three. <laughs> Which one did I miss? Wasn't one, I know the one that uh, the Great Kali was going to be in, and then they swapped it right. out. I remember that. There was that one, and then there was Batista and Kali. I think like the following year. Okay. And then the last one was Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal, which. I would not even make you watch it. It was that <laughs> bad of a match. Well, thank you. <laughs> but at least with the one that I saw last night, it was actually good. So um, so then this morning, I watched the Clusterfuck Battle Royal. Mm-hmm. It ended up being 87 people in the match. No, it was a, it was a big match. I remember seeing that. Um, do you want me to spoil who won? I don't know yet, because I haven't figured out if I want to watch it. Depends if I'm okay. going to take a nap later. All or right, not. and I won't spoil yeah. it. Yeah, don't say anything yet. I would say, I think the match is over an hour and a half long. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to talk about that on the next step when we do Dynasty. Yeah. No, but I, I did watch it this morning. I, I did mention to my nephew, Alex... Who, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. Um, he, I, I know I've told you this off air. Yeah, yeah. He now has chickens. At you did his tell home. me that because I said why? Because he wanted to raise chickens. He always wanted chickens ever since he was like little. <laughs> so when we moved up here, um, and then once it got warmed up or warmer, we his mom bought him chickens to take care of. Where? Oh, in our backyard. No, but where did you get the chickens to begin with? Oh, uh, Tractor Supply has them. Like, they have, like, a sale every year. Okay. And he (laughs) bought them not only to have, but also to get eggs. Okay. So that, yeah. Do you have to do anything with, um, after they lay the eggs like specifically or I don't know how that all works. Like do you have to clean them uh, or anything like that or No. What's surprising? Mm-hmm. I figured that there would be something after they lay the egg that you would have to do. Right. So yeah, he got four last year and then four this year. But the reason I say that is one of the participants in the match is a person in a giant chicken costume. Oh, okay. So that's so I, I I had to mention that part. Um So yeah, that shows only two matches, but it's worth watching. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. The the big news that broke overnight, and I didn't know about this till I woke up this morning, is Wednesday on Dynamite. I saw this, yeah. They're going to air the footage of the backstage fight from London last year. I don't think it's going to be real, though. I think it's going to, like, when I read that, I was like, this is going to be a Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, when the midget came out, or the little person, I guess, came out. 
right. That's what I'm thinking is going to wind up being something like that. Uh, but I do think the reason for them to do to do this is because I think this is going to be their way to bring back Jack Perry to TV without like a reason for him to come mm-hmm. back to TV. I, I mean, part of it from what I read was oh, I think he passed the statue. Yeah, I was going to say this doesn't look like the statue. Okay. Part of it oh, yeah. is because yeah. of you know the whole punk interview right from this week and how um Tony Khan is upset. There are people saying that this is not like a hoax or like they're gonna actually. Sh- oh, this is me. Right. Oh, no, 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 it's me actually. Oh man, this is great. That's gonna be us up there. Can you believe it? I've believed it my whole life. Cause look, there's the Ranger and Green Beret Bradshaw. We should go over the details one more time. A quick chat with United Front before the Wait, is that that's not gonna work for me, brother, gonna come into play here? Maybe. <laughs> uh, you were saying about the um Yeah, Whoa. so they're saying This tank looks like an elephant. So they're saying that this is like the legit footage, but I'm with you. I'm I'm very hesitant about it. Um, I I mean I usually watch Dynamite every week anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think no matter if it is or if it isn't the footage, it's gonna end up looking bad on AEW's part. Unless it, like I said, unless the, it, it can transition into a story somehow, like. I can. I don't think it would be that bad if they show it and whatever scene, scene they bring Jack Perry back. And by the way, I still say Jack Perry. They should a hundred percent give him the theme song, Justin Timberlake, "Cry Me a River." Mm. That should a hundred percent be his theme song. They should license it. And when he leaves, um, like when it's the regular entrance when he comes in, you know, "Cry Me a River." Right. But 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 then when he leaves, it's the part the damage is done, so I guess I'll be leaving. You start there. <laughs> but anyway, so I think Jack Perry comes back and then see here's what that's that's where I'm confused is after what happens after that, because my my thinking here, again, thinking along the lines <clears throat> thinking along the lines of um Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels and that little person back in the day. Yeah. You have to have a, they had a Bret sympathizer come out. The problem I have with AEW kind of doing the same thing is I don't know who would come out as the punk sympathizer. Yeah. Because I would say it would be FTR, but they gave a rally speech apparently on Wednesday. Yeah. That I don't think that even fits them anymore. So I don't know who who would wind up being. I mean, maybe not. Ha- I kind of want to say House of Black, but I don't think that would work either. No, I I don't know. All right, so hey, it's our opponents. Careful, guys. We don't want to be seen fraternizing with the enemy. We we just wanted to go over the sequence for the fight. Now that's now, oh sorry, you're the ranger, yeah. Now, that's dedication to the craft. I've got to say, I like some of my operation on signature move one last time. Uh, Bill, you're breaking up a little. I'm not really sure why, but try that again. Let's do this line. It's run me after I must have a puck out. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What do you think you figured out? After I bust that puppy out, Stag, you'll grab a chair from outside of the ring and take us both out. The crowd should hate you guys after that. We we don't mind playing heel when we have to. To be honest, it's an honor to be in the ring with legends like you. We appreciate that, lads. You Logan boys have a bright future ahead of you. 
All right, that's enough cheese eat cheese eating. All right, that's enough cheese eating. Go see Mr. Flaunt when you're ready for the match. All right. I think I'm ready because I bought all those items, so I think I should be fine. Yeah. Dean, was there anything that noteworthy happened at that Ring of Honor show? And bef bef also, I want to point out to everyone, we mentioned that we're going to try to get together for WWE and AEW pay-per-views. Not NXT or Ring of Honor. Right. <laughs> I want to make that clear because I have zero attention of watching either of them right now. Um, well, I, I mean, I did not watch the show when it happened. So, but but I do know that Mark Briscoe won the Ring of Honor World Title. Oh, okay. Which that that was kind of a foregone conclusion, honestly. Um. Oh, here we go. Honest Bucks, are you ready for your first PAW match? I know it's an exhibition, but it still counts in my books. Um, actually, I'm going to need a minute. Why don't you finish that? Because I'm going to make telling about Ring of Honor because I want to make more tea for myself real quick. Okay. So you just talk about Ring of Honor. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Mark Briscoe won the Ring of Honor world title. Uh, pretty big deal. Right time to do it. Um, Athena retained the women's title. I, I, I know if Josiah was here, he'd be talking about how great it was. Uh... Billy Starks won the Ring of Honor women's television title, so she's the first champion. And then on social media, there was a really good backstage segment with Billy's mom involved and how her mom was disappointed in how she won the match. And <laughs> Billy Starks is like, but I won! I'm the champion! And her mom's like, yeah, but that's not how you were raised to do this. This is not how you, you know, this is not how you're supposed to win. So that could end up being a good little storyline there. And they also had a fight without honor with Dalton Castle and Johnny TV, Johnny Nitro, um, in which Dalton won that match. Um, there were a lot of different boys involved in that match and there was an actor he, he's been on a lot of like wrestling as of late um i it's like paul something i can't remember his exact name right now what but... paul who oh oh i think i know who you're talking about yeah uh, like paul walter housing or something yeah like that? that's him that, yeah that's him okay yeah, yeah yeah he got apparently got involved at the end of that match with uh castle and johnny tv mm -hmm. so but other than that, um, that's all I know about Supercar Supercard of Honor. By the way, how do you feel about these um, the uh, AEW releases? It was surprising. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. Although one of them got rehired already, right? Or yes, Anthony Henry did. And I know this because I um. Was I saw some comment online where they were like, oh, there's Tony Khan caving to the online crowd, I guess, because there was like a petition that he should get brought back in or something like that. I'm like, well, what? I was like, okay, I mean, yeah, that's a problem. But I also, WWE did the same thing with yeah. uh, Rockstar Spud. Mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah, criticize both of them for it. I think, honestly, yeah. I think both of them were wrong to do that, but whatever mm -hmm. but don't just call one out when the other one famously did one as well during yeah. the pandemic or whatever exactly i'm just waiting for my tea to be done before i start the match uh, so um because yeah, it's got to go three minutes uh did so i just right say now, three minutes bill <laughs> so right now i have on the czw show i know that name probably hasn't been mentioned in years where are they uh, they have a show at the old murphy rec center okay where ring of honor began many many years ago and 
there was a little backstory because apparently the 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 building like the people that run the building banned all wrestling from being there because I guess with some of the Ring of Honor shows in you know back at that time they like more than filled the capacity like they overfilled the building oh okay and it was like yeah and they're like okay we can't have you guys here anymore and this is like their first the first wrestling show in like 20 plus years I think that's a long time it is I wonder what Um, made them uh, reconsider it I mean maybe other than time I guess yeah and then also this isn't the same CZW that a lot of us know you know it's not the ultra violent you know this isn't your parents CZW exactly (laughs) Like, yeah, like, because, like, I've kept my eye on it just to see, like, what they do differently. Sure. Like, they're even having shows in Maryland where they, from my memory, they never did. I guess they're expanding? Is that why? why? Yeah, because they they still do shows in Delaware. Um, But... For those who don't know, the Maryland State Athletic Commission is one of the more stricter commissions in the U.S. And so they don't do, you know, like the different death matches and all that. It, it's a completely different CZW than it was maybe even five years ago before the pandemic even happened. So, so that's what I've got on right now before night two of WrestleMania. But there have been like a bajillion shows as there normally is every year. Um, I have not watched a lot. So. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm just, I just got my tea. I don't have my headphones in though, so I can't hear you for saying anything. And we actually have a women's match. I can't remember I'm back. the last time CZW had a women's match. I don't know if I've ever seen CZ, what CZW have a women's match at all. I mean, I, I mean, I know they used to have where women would fight the men, but I can't remember women against women in yeah. CZW. So. All right, let's get to this match. Even though, all right, let's do this because... I mean, we're still going to talk anyway, because yeah. well, this is the fight fighting part. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, green. Oh, you're green, Gene. That's right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall and features our next competitor. Straight from the front lines, standing at a combined eight inches tall, it's... United Front. Oh, it's not. Oh, there we go. United Front. Oh my God! What is? <laughs> what a bunch of hams. <laughs> well, you won't see that at WrestleMania. <laughs> I don't think you will. Man. <laughs> Ring the bell. Let's go. I'm sure there's probably going to be special rules because I'm supposed to lose, right? Or something? No, I'm winning. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, mandatory. So raise hype to 20. Lower hype to negative 20. Well, no, I've unlocked those. All right, let's just go regular. What do we got for break? So anyway, no, you can still continue about CZW because now I got a fight here. Yeah, so it's like a whole different group. Like they're okay, so their main event today at their show features two wrestlers that we both know. Okay. So the main event is Rich Swan defending the CZW title against Paul London. Oh, okay, yeah, I know both of them. I'm surprised. Paul London's like, our regular with them? I... This may be like a guest shot. Honestly. 
Um, and then, like, the only other name that I saw was Ace Austin. And he just had his match, and he lost. Okay. So, other than that, I, I could not name three people on the CZW roster at this moment. Hmm. That's how much it has changed. Right. All right, so let's... Maybe, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I was going to say, and maybe the change is good. Right. Yeah, I didn't know what CZW was really doing, trying to expand more. I, to be honest with you, I hadn't heard anything about them as of late. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you about... Wow, this is... He battles so far easier than I thought. Looks like one of them's down already. Um... So what do you think... What what did you think about that tag team match getting like over a half hour or however long it was? Um, the re okay, because I saw the match when it happened. It was a really good match. I went against the script. I forgot that I was supposed to let them up. Oh, oh <laughs> it was a shoot, Bill. It was a shoot, brother. <laughs> um. You know what? Most occasions, I would say that, you know, it was kind of unnecessary. This time, because of the way the story had been built, and what was... At, I, I don't have to read the lines. No, no, no. I'm just going right through them. No. Okay. Um, and, and what was at stake and all that, I, I did not have a problem with it. And the other thing... That did not feel like... How, how long was that match? It was over a half hour. I think it was... I actually, I think it was even more of, like, maybe, like, 45 minutes. Because I remember looking at how much time was left this morning, and I was like, oh, my God, this this didn't go, like, a full hour, did it? I mean, I'm talking entrances and everything. Right, right. right. Which, by the way, I also noticed that Rock... <laughs> is this, like, his literally ninth theme song? Because it's definitely uh, different than what he had previously. It, it might be. But, no, I I was fine with it. Honestly. Like, I, I it just, like, the, I guess the other example that I can think of was recently um, on the DK and Bill Wrestling Podcast. Mm -hmm. We did the watch along of the Sting Flair match from Clash 1. Right. And watching that match again, it did not feel like it was a 45-minute match. Mm -hmm. With this, it did not feel like, you know, 40-plus minutes. Right. So, I, th I think in the end, I think I was fine with it. Mm -hmm. As far as the time being given. I'm looking for things that hype because that's one of the things hype to 20 uh, let's do this one what else is going on uh, did TNA do anything this weekend <laughs> now that I'm thinking no. about it that's no, surprising not a, not a thing considering the rebrand that seems like not dead in the water but certainly not hyped anymore mm-hmm yeah, it's like they didn't do anything. I mean, AEW had talent at WrestleCon, so I, I guess in a way they did something. Well, AEW, and, and I don't think AEW should be doing anything, and I think that's the point here. Hold on, let me make sure I make sure this guy kicks out, I guess. Yeah. Let them break, but let them break it. I'm going to guess that means I just don't do anything here. Yeah. Well, actually, their episode of Collision up. I think you just lowered the hype to twenty five. I know, I like, unless I'm. I, I don't know what they want me to do. What do you guys want from me? <laughs> no, but they had Collision tape on Wednesday night. Oh, did they? Game. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't think that they were here. They were gonna tape against WrestleMania. And then to add on to it. It aired 
after the Final Four basketball game. Okay. Because they aired on TBS and TNT last year. Mm-hmm. So not only did they tape the show so it wouldn't be competing live against WrestleMania, the time would be also that they did not compete against WrestleMania. Right. So it, it kind of worked out in the end for AEW. The rating probably is not going to be that good. No, this not, week. not if for 1130 at night. Yeah. But, you know, they, they kind of had to do that. There was no other choice. Yeah. So... Um, oh, the Hall of Fame. Okay, I got to talk about the Hall of Fame. Yeah, because I was confused that the main headliner was apparently the first one going. Yes! Oh, my God. So, at first, I wasn't going to watch it. I was like, my first thought was, I'm not going to watch the show. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I'll, I'll at least watch Paul Heyman. You know, because I figure, okay, he'll be at the end. Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, Paul Heyman's going first. I'm like, excuse me? And you told me this was the first time they've done this, because I asked yes. you, because I had to call Ross right. or something, and I wait, I I did the right thing, and I was like, I'm going to wait, because I'm sure he's watching the fucking Hall of Fame. And I so I called him after, he's like, no, it's still going on. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like... Paul Heyman was on about an hour ago. I figured that was it. I didn't think he'd stalk for an hour. He's like, nope, right. it's still going. It's still going. He was first. I'm like, really? I'm like, that's surprised the hell out of me. Yeah. So, so you know, he, he did a speech. It was very good. I don't know if I agree with a lot of people saying it was the greatest Hall of Fame speech of all time. Okay. Because I, I think that just depends on you know, the person and who delivered it and stuff. But it was a good speech. Yeah. Um, he actually slipped the F-bomb once or twice during the speech, and the censor didn't catch it. Which was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Now, what bugged me a little bit, not, not with the Heyman speech, but it was, this happened like a couple times during the night. So... They had Muhammad Ali's wife accepting, you know, for Muhammad Ali. Sure. She said WWF. And it got bleeped out. It got, you know, like, you know how, like, it used to be, like, when on WWE 24-7 where it was like, oh, this is the WW. Yeah. They did that. I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? We're still doing this in 2024, <laughs> which was kind of bullshit. Which is weird because I actually thought they had they somewhere along the lines won the right where they could refer to it in the past in past tense. Exactly. I don't know. Like, maybe you know sometimes laws like that are expire. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. So, Undertaker inducted Ali. And I, and I said this Why? to somebody. I said this to somebody yesterday. The Undertaker walked the fastest I think I had ever seen him walk. Oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> it's like, he, they, they did the, you know, the intro, his song. It must have taken him 40 seconds to get to the ring. It was so funny. I'm like, damn, where, why didn't you do this? during your career (laughs) um so and then during that and and this will explain why the rock had a belt with it oh i was gonna yeah i did notice that i was like what's this all about so what had so during the speech the, the the ali speech his wife mentioned how when the rock was becoming, you know, 98 Rock. Mm -hmm. They had a show in Louisville. And the family was at the show. 
So Dwayne asked the family if he could use the moniker the People's Champion. Oh, okay. And then he got word that they accepted his request to be the People's Champion. So then she calls him to the ring and she presents him with the people's champ the people's championship belt which is basically the brahma bull on the front plate of the belt and it, and it was a good looking belt you know I, I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes like one of those replica things that people will want to buy someday yeah and and rock i think rock was taken aback he was humble but what was funny i'm gonna see if this ends it i'm gonna see if this is what i'm supposed to do because i did raise hype to 20. 20 yeah nope that's not what i'm supposed to do apparently okay okay so try again what, so what happened is during this the fans were booing so it was like a mix they were cheering and booing so it was kind of like oh good the fans you know it's like hey fave is it dead right it's 2024 so so I didn't have a problem with the fans booing. So, so that was unique. Um, Bull Nakano got inducted. She, the speech was good. The problem was, whoever was in charge of, like, controlling the sound of the crowd, had the volume like a little bit too much higher. Okay. And you couldn't hear Nakano as much mm. but you could tell like this meant a lot to Bull so um and then Wyndham and Rotundo um they were inducted by Mike's kids okay o, o Dallas and, and, her, and his sister did and they, they, did of, they come out to real American like they should have no <laughs> So, basically, Mike does the entire speech. And Barry is, like, there for support. Because he's already been inducted once. So, um, I could tell watching. Mike had a hard time going through that speech. Mm -hmm. and, and, if, and I'm not blaming him. You know, I'm not saying it was a terrible speech because it wasn't. He did his best. Um, it was just, I think, the emotion of the moment. Yeah. Maybe got to him, like the nerves, and then they did a whole Firefly thing in a tribute to Bray, which was nice. And then Thunderbolt Patterson. That's the other speech that I would say to people, you need to watch. Really? That's a surprising one. So, so New Day was part of the induction. You've already lost me. Okay, well, anyway. No, but okay, continue. So, so, Patterson comes out in a wheelchair, but he also has a cane. So he's a, so he can't walk. But the aisleway was very long. And he had a friend of his who was a DJ be the other person to induct him. Okay. So Patterson talks. And he talks about a, a few things. But basically, the two key things he said in his speech were to stop using the race card mm -hmm. and to stop the senseless killings going on. When he said that, I was surprised. Like, I did not expect that to come out of him. Sure. And I'm like, you know what? I, I may not be... You know, like, I don't, I can't have an opinion on the whole race card thing, mm -hmm. but I am, like, a thousand percent with him on the senseless killings going on, because it is ridiculous. Right. You know, 
and it was kind of preachy at times because he was mentioning the Lord and God. But I thought the message he was trying to portray was a good message. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what other people think of it, that's their opinion, and, and I'll respect it. But just to hear somebody in their 80s to have that kind of a platform to talk about ending the violence and the race card is a that was a big risk and it was surprising and and i really think people just should watch it and then the final speech was for the rock's grandma yeah what do you think about that by the way that actually bothered me a little bit not the grandmother's speech but the fact that she's in literally the first year that he's has any kind of decision making right. with the company sorry this is nepotism at its finest right here uh, even vince never put any of them in in all the years right. that he's done it right by the way you told me earlier on this game that my hype was going down at some point. Do you remember what I did? Because I need my hype to go down. I can't oh, figure out. Okay. When you pin one of them, you just let the whole countdown go. Oh, okay, good. That's exactly what I'll do then. Great. So, so as far as his grandmother going in, I'm like, okay, this is a very out of left field choice but it's not you know, when you put together that this is the first time he right right um i don't know it bothers me for some reason and even though right. I, and let me be the first one to say i don't think the wwe hall of fame means anything but you're, you're not alone on it but it bothers i think it bothers me because it's the first year and there was no shame about it shortest speech of the night mm -hmm. and so Rock mentions in the speech you know how some of the promoters would send their talent over to Hawaii for you know like to, to love yeah yeah he mentioned Vince's name hmm and it got loud jeers from <laughs> the however many were still in the building at that point. Right. Because, folks, it ended at 5 of 1 in the morning. Wow, that is long. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. So, at, towards the end, they show The Rock's mom was in the front row in the background I when I first saw her I was like no that couldn't be her Linda McMahon was there oh wow okay and I was like because like at first I was like wait is that her and then somebody the next day was like oh Linda McMahon was there in the background <laughs> And then I'm like, did they focus on her? Know. Did they focus on oh. her? No, okay. It was just that one shot at the end of the of the show. And then as Rock is leaving, some fan said something to him. I didn't catch it. And Rock was like, say it again. Say it again. And then the fan was like, Oh, you're gonna lose. Cody's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Which was I don't think that's what he originally said. Probably I not. I could see someone yeah. doing that hundred percent. Yeah. So I'm gonna get into my two big complaints of the Hall of Fame that we that have. Heyman was the first one, that seems to be one of them. Well yeah. But I think they did it because if he went last there was no way the people were going to make it till the end. I think that's what the idea But isn't the lesson, shouldn't the lesson be that 
only induct three people then? Like, shouldn't well, that be the lesson from that? But no, they'll just keep inducting whoever. Mm -hmm. So, the okay, so the first complaint is just for this year. Okay. Which is, please get better control of how you do sound. Because there were times, like I said, there were times where the audio of the fans was louder than the person speaking. Mm -hmm. That was my, again, That maybe it's a one-time thing. Maybe they fix it for next year. The, the bigger issue that I have, they cannot do the Hall of Fame immediately after SmackDown. You can't do that anymore. You, the fans were leaving in the middle of the Hall of Fame, and by the time Rock came out for his grandmother's induction, it looked like there were only a few thousand left in the building. Hmm. And I'm just like, you can't do this. And you can't really blame them either, because more than likely right. they have stuff to do tomorrow, because isn't... Uh, on Saturday, wasn't it NXT at 12 noon? So you figure, yeah. what, you're going to go home, or go, go home, go to the hotel. Uh, I know, I see, so the lower height thing is done. So now try to break, try to pin try your to pin opponents, opponents, but let them break. What does that mean? All right, hmm. I have is an idea. Like, yeah. okay. No, go ahead, go ahead. What, were you, no, what do you think say, Is that like when you go for the pin, and... Maybe you get a two count, you accidentally hit like the wrong button. Oh, like, maybe. Okay. It's a good call. Yeah. I'll try that no. for sure. So my idea, my first idea, and then someone else gave me another good idea. My first idea is move the Hall of Fame to Thursday night. Because you're not competing with anybody. On yep, Thursday. you're right. Oh, good. All right. But now what happens? All right, now I guess we... We get the end of the match now. Hold on, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if he goes against the script. Oh what? my goodness! Could it be? Could it be? Oh! Frank Logan doesn't even see it! The Ranger is going to launch his... Operation Knockdown Knee Strike! What? What was that sound? What did you say? This is you, Brink. Are you okay? I think he pulled me Kevin Nash. <gasps> no! I think I snapped my T crotch band. Can you stand? Negative. But they want to see it. Operation Knockdown. One last time. This is giving real wrestler, the wrestler vibes. Have yeah, you bro. ever, have you ever seen a one trick pony? With his team brand, <laughs> team band break into. <laughs> Give it to them then. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Is Stag going into business for himself? I think he is. <laughs> All right, we'll find out. I guess that damn stag, at least Brink went up a level. <laughs> oh, so did stag, good. All right. And Elephant, who does abs the slimy of this story, I guess, because slime doesn't yeah. do shit either. Neither does Elephant. What 
the show, ladies and gentlemen. Call the hotline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 1-900-909-9900. It may have been United Front's last battle, but it was the first time the world has seen a flying Operation Knockdown. I think you were Slaughter. Oh, I am. Okay. I thought you were. I mean, because we... Okay. Wow. Well, yeah. That was almost a snafu. Quick thinking on your new cadet's part, you maggot. Yes, it was a master stroke, to be sure. <clears throat> You've got those boys pegged to be heels. Did you hear the crowd? They're chanting for Brink almost as loudly as they are for United Front. I mean, I think they were cheering for Stag when he smacked what's his face when the face yeah, of a chair. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a bit unexpected, but not unwelcome. I knew I made a good decision bringing them to PAW. What about his partner? We'll say. Oh, this is going to be a, uh, one's going to turn on the other. I still have, what are we, like, uh, I'd say we're probably, like, 12 hours into this game right now. I still don't know who the main enemy is. Right. Oh, yay, it's Toy Box Jimmy. Yay. That's, God, there's a voice I can't, don't really want to do right now. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Seen a lot of trucks rolling down through town lately. I'd love to jack one of them. Are you yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Yep. Lots and lots of them. Taking materials to the new laundromat. Oh man! You mean they're putting a laundromat over where the school used to be? You gotta be kidding me! Wow, what a downgrade that is. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? That elephant and his goons sure did a number on that place. Totally, my man. Wait. Are you saying you saw them? You saw the elephant's men burn down the school? Of course I did. I'm a PMC Keith Special Forces, son. I see everything. Nuke, we can use this. We can go to the police, too. Aw, oh, what's the point? No one in the toy room would convict the elephant. Sure. <clears throat> what's the point, Jimmy? Better to sit around until the elephant burns everything. Like your chop shop. <laughs> hey man, back off. If your plastic is so hard, why don't you do something? <laughs> I get paid to fight, son. Well, there goes the school. <laughs> yeah, there goes all the PTA bake sales. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier Toy thinks he's real funny, doesn't he? <clears throat> Whatever, I'll pop some cars. That'll take my mind off. Wait, what? What the heck? What does that mean? Pop some cars? Does it mean steal or does that mean yeah, break? I think, oh, okay. I think it means break it. That'll take my mind off things. <laughs> okay. Time to get. I don't think that's him. Time to get new wheels for your business. To process a car, the first thing you must do is unlock it. Make sure Toy Box Jimmy is in your party, then approach the vehicle and press the button to interact with it. Note that not all vehicles will be available to be processed. When you choose an appropriate vehicle, a message will appear to confirm you want to process it. Try it now. Alright, let's steal a car, I guess. Welcome to Grand Theft Auto, everyone. Yeah, really. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. How can you tell? I guess because this one's flashing. Yeah. Yes. Watch the indicator in the bar. When it is in the green section, press the interact button. If you time it right, you'll get a hit. If your time is off, you'll get a miss. All right. Oh, I hit it. Each vehicle requires a certain number of hits. Be careful, though. You only have so many attempts. <laughs> and if you miss too many times, you'll be locked out of the vehicle for good. All right. Got a good start. There we go. Nice job. If you successfully, you if you successfully unlock the car, <clears throat> the crew will come to process it. You'll score some cash, and there might even be something valuable inside. 
Ooh. Oh, there's what's his face, Taunt. Who was? You're Taunt. Who was? Oh, I'm Taunt. Good job, boss. We'll take it from here. I love. This is what he does to get his mind off things. Mm -hmm. Steal cars. Okay. There are a few other cars in the area. Why not try to process them? Okay. Hey, now that's a beauty. Can't say I've ever seen something like this before. I wonder if I can pop it. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, you want to be Veneta? Sure. I appreciate the compliment, but there will be no popping, I'm afraid. Whoa, you're a person. And is that a cause for alarm? Yes, I would say so. <laughs> I thought you were a minivan. Which is a cause for having an alarm, but not for causing one. Hi. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's simple, you see. Wait. Oh, no. Man, there's lots of strangers rolling through Boxwood, it seems. Shh. Here, use this prodigious head of yours. Whoa, shifting gears already? I... Shut up and block his line of sight. For forgive my wordplay earlier. No apologies needed, necessary. I love all kinds of play. Wordplay, gameplay, full. Okay. I I know we just met, and I do dread being in 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 position. But would it be possible that you have a spare accommodation available? Yeah, they did just read, and look what Toy Box Jimmy's doing. Like, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. So here's my number. Or call me maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm so glad I paid attention to Barbay's English class. What was that? Are you talking to yourself? Of course I have a spare room. Spare garage bay too. Depending on what form you want to use. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go up here and... Did these did the nasty boys even care that this happened? At all? I doubt it. Uh, let's see. We're going to get nest the size of the soft plastic wannabes around here. Okay. What about you, knobs? How's Hogan doing? Boxwood and the BW sure do love extreme hardcore wrestling. Are they ready to get nasty? Yeah, they don't care about that. They them. don't care about the car. Transforming car. Alright, are you saying go up? Yep. <clears throat> What? Oh wait, hold on, I think I can... Yes, I will process this vehicle while I'm over here. Good job, boss. We'll take it from here. A gorilla wrench. What's this? Oh, that's the first aid place? Oh yeah, that's right, because this weird thing where it just beeps and... Like, someone's gonna wind up in there, I can feel it. Alright. Well, I don't know what... Am I supposed to follow her, or what? I don't know what I'm doing here. I think you're supposed to go back to your garage. <clears throat> and that's down? Oh, let me process this while I'm here. And then we'll start going overnight to a WrestleMania. Yeah. I don't need to say this. Line. No, Mark's no, yeah, yeah. I mean, cause that's all he's going to say it every time I do a... <laughs> I got a shark spin. Oh, yeah. Deeper. You know, that's going to go great with the car. Deeper, bluer. My head is like a shark spin. Deepest, bluest. Remember that song? Hello, Cool J? 
That's one I don't remember. It's actually. from Deep Blue Sea. Oh, from the movie. Yeah. Deep Where he Blue. became the first black person to survive a horror movie. Well, and also in the music video, he turns into a shark. Oh. Deepest, bluest. My head is like a shark fin. Well, here we go. Okay, crew, look alive. We have a guest. Uh, come on. We got another sweaty spandex junkie that's looking to crash on our couch. If... Get everything oh, I God. just said. Why are you horny for the robot? <laughs> Guys, this is Vanetta. She's new in town. <laughs> yeah, so give her a warm welcome, understand? Hello, and thank you for having me. What does this have to do with Muchacho Man or Brink Logan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, boss. With all the elephants goons running around... How do we know she won't slow us down? I'd be willing to put it to a race if you're that concerned. <laughs> awesome trick. Jimmy, you did good this time. I don't understand. How do you do good? I feel like I'm watching a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Oh, look, we're back here again now. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your ill-gotten gains, Chuleta de Cordero. Hey, this is the jungle, not the barnyard. Close the door. This is no time for insults. I know how you got those magic stones. <laughs> Who cares if I stole them from some slimy snappers? I need them for my personal development device. Now get out. For a man who likes closed doors, I wonder if you would be interested in a private wager. If it gets you out of my place, I am. All right, spit it out. What's your wager? It has to do with your match today against Jockass. If you win the match, if you win the match, I'll give you some hyper batteries. They will supercharge that personal development device of yours. If you lose, you have to give those lizard batteries back to me. If I lose the match? You idiot. Don't you know the whole thing is script? <laughs> I mean, sure, buddy. That's a bet I'm willing to take. Excellent day. Let's shake on it. It was like a punch. Yeah, really. This jock ass. <laughs> Jock's ass. Okay. Jock ass. Right, why don't you be Jock? You, you... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you had company. Hey, you're the Bruter's new friend. How's it going? Bro, things are getting spicy. What was that all about? Nothing. You ready for the match? Memorize the script? You bet. Oh, is Muchacho Man gonna learn that wrestling isn't real? <laughs> what? It's, it's just like a little, little kid learns that Santa Claus isn't real. I know, right? So devastating. <laughs> well, what happened? As expected, time for phase two, amigo. I thought we were helping that sting like wrestler. What happened to that? Uh, he may have already been sacrificed. You think he's already? You think he's dead? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what phase two is exactly either, so we're just gonna explore here. All right, so let's run down some of these matches for WrestleMania. What's the first match that we have? Actually, I'm gonna make more tea. So why okay. don't you run down all the matches and then we'll talk about each yeah. one. So. so, what I'll do is I will go through what has been actually revealed as the order for night two of wrestlemania so the first match is seth rollins and drew mcintyre for the world heavyweight title cm punk is going to be the guest commentator for the match um drew drew has to win this this is this is his moment 
He's waited four years to win a major title in front of a crowd. I, I think Drew's going to win this match. He has to. If he doesn't, I'd be surprised. I'm back to explore, but the, like I, I'll check on my team in a few minutes because it's got to okay. heat up. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what I said was I was going to go through the card in the order that it's been announced as. Okay. So, Seth and Drew will start night two. Okay. Uh, CM Punk is the guest commentator for the match. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Drew's going over. He has to. I like Drew. I was telling you this. Yeah. Uh, the, I like I the segment that I watched from March, whatever it was. All right, hold mm-hmm. on. Green jeans back. Or yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen of the Safari Outpost, it is going to be an exciting fur versus fleece match here tonight, with the loser forced to shave. This guy can't even get someone to ride him with a saddle. That's just sad. Oh, yeah? Well, the bad boy's skills are just like his stuffing. Soft. Oh, did you hear that? The excitement up on this stage is hotter than the jungle air. We've got two beasts of battle. Ready to go tooth and hoof at each other. It... It sounds like a good way for that donkey to get a disease. (laughs) 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 That's just broken. What? I said the most savage beast in the jungle is no limb, muchachos. It's me, the South of the Border Savage. Wow, what an exciting (laughs) turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if a fan just got in the ring tonight. You'll get a disease from that donkey. (laughs) Well, not only that, but he just came in the ring, declared himself existing, and no one did anything. Yeah, that would be an exciting turn of events. What are you doing? Just follow my lead. That's right. This rumble in the jungle just turned into a tag team match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? Jung Laji is getting electrified with excitement. I'm the spice himself, muchacho man, and the burrow and I will be dominating this arena. (coughs) Yeah, bad. Don't stand a chance against us. Psst. What are you doing? This isn't in the script. It's a rush rewrite. Keep up, bad boy. No, it's not. It's... Save it for the fight, you two. Now, muchacho man, if you and Jacques Oz are tagging up, who is Bad Boy's partner? Green Jean, the only person fit to fight with the lamb is him! Was I Rod Cod? I, oh, I yeah, forgot. you were. Alright, uh, what kind of. Oh, yeah, because they say he looks sickly, like how I feel. Um. Yeah. Uh, what, me? <laughs> yes, you, amigo. The fish and the lamb versus the donkey and the spice. All of the jungle's greatest predators together under one ring. This is incredible. This is unprecedented. This is plush and action figure wrestling coming at you live from Jung Laji. This match is set for double elimination or double ring out and may the best team win. Look, this crowd is hyped up beyond belief. There's no explaining anything to them. You better just get in the ring and help me thwomp these goons. Ain't no wrestler, Lamb Chop. I only fight dirty. Are you kidding? That's perfect. Now, come on.
Alright, Spice Rack. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Are you ready? Let's go! Let me guess, we're gonna go to Brink now. Because that seems to be what they do all of a sudden. This happened. Oh no, we're, we're here. Okay. We're gonna do it. Okay, so we can continue on. Well, what's uh, this? Hold on, real quick. The okay. Barnyard Beast is joining you for the battle as your taking partner. You know, act automatically and tag you in when he needs help. When you need to switch positions, you could use the tag out command in your gimmick wheel to call him back. While waiting on the outside, units will recover 2% of their HP every turn. Okay. So let's see, reduce bad boy to fall in before defeating. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to fight normally. But yeah, okay, you can continue talk about what uh, we were talking about before. Yeah. So, I, I think Drew is going to win. Um, it's his time. Plus, he never got his chance uh, four years ago because of the pandemic. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the second match is a Philadelphia Street Fight. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits against Karrion Cross and the Authors of Pain. Okay, uh, I mean, that sounds probably like maybe the worst match of the night. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'll have, like, its fun moments. But it's probably the one I'm not looking forward to at all, mm -hmm. really. So, um, so then the next match is LA Knight versus AJ Styles. Okay. Then that's for nothing. That's just for the, for shits yeah. and giggles. Okay. Shits and giggles. Um, it's actually gotten a little bit interesting the last couple of weeks, and then Friday. Uh, during the media scrum, they had a fight. So, it kind of raises the interest a little bit more, but okay. it's really, you know, not that. Uh, then, we have a triple threat match for the U.S. title. Logan Paul defending against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Okay, that's, that's, I guess I'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of, for me, it's like, the only one that can win this is Logan Paul. Like, I don't see Orton winning. Right. KO, KO maybe, but I think WWE likes Logan Paul too much. Yeah. So. I mean, so, but, but he's also, didn't, uh, maybe I'm reading, I read this wrong, but isn't he a, uh, isn't he like a full timer now? I don't know. I thought I read something like, oh, he signed a contract for, like, he'll be around more. Maybe I'm imagining that. I don't really right. know. Um, alright, then. Oh my god, is that Mr. Monopoly in the ring? Or at least he looks like Mr. Monopoly. <laughs> what? What are, you, what are you. Oh, the CZW, no, show? CZW show? Yeah, there's a bald guy with a white mustache. And black trunks. He looks like Mr. Monopoly if he was a ref player. <laughs> Alright, uh, so the fifth match is EO Sky defending the WWE women's title against Bake. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get my tea, but we're about All to. Right, I will. You're gonna. Do this. Yeah, so well, what do you think about. Uh, first, talk about e iOS versus Bailey and while well, I get okay. my tea. Um. The build-up could have been a little bit better, but I think the match is going to be good. I, I do think it's going to be a good match. Uh, I think this is Bailey's moment tonight. I, I really do. Um, I, I expect the match to be really good. I'm, I'm just hoping that it is, and Bailey gets her moment. And then the main event, uh, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, now under bloodline rules, which is another way of saying anything goes. So, oh, what do we have? Okay. 
that, that's for later. <coughs> okay. So yeah, um, Roman and Cody main event, Bloodline rules. Um, I'm back. I want to believe Cody is going to win this, but there's something that's telling me he's not. Hmm. Okay, I think I think he definitely wins. I felt better about Roman winning last year, which that wound up being right. Mm-hmm. And I definitely see Cody winning. What I don't want to happen, and I'm, this is to me, this is going to be real telling, because I've heard. Um. Well, here, let's let's do this part. Go ahead, be bad boy. Okay. Uh, don't just flop there, you fish. Do something. Don't you have to tag me first? That doesn't matter right now, okay? Just don't let them win. Got it. Ha! That ought to do it. Oh, did he do like his version of Mist? I guess. Double ring out! Nice work, Brad God. Don't congratulate your fish before they hatch, amigos. What? <laughs> Technically, I'm not touching the ground. Oh, because he's on top of his partner. Oh. Okay. And he's back. Ah. Let you know. No. This you and me now, Lamb Chop. We're Lamb Chop. Yes. <laughs> Is that an offensive term to sheep? I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> it just becomes what they, what we're eating from them now, right? Yeah. This really all that they want me to do now? Oh no! How did I miss that one? Anyway, okay, so yeah. Cody, Roman... Oh, what I don't want to happen, which I've read people... Fantasy book, I guess, or maybe they're like, oh, this is for sure happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, like, I get... It's bloodline rules now because of the win last night. Right. I had people say, like, well, you know, they showed that, um... During the beatdown from that Raw... They showed yep. Cena and Austin in the background. They'll come and help Cody. I'm like, why? That would make no sense at all. Right. If anything, okay, if you're going to have people help Cody, it'd be Jey Uso and... I mean, if you, if you, I mean, if you really want to put things right around Sami Zayn to come in, too. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, that would be the dumbest thing if Austin and Cena showed up to help Cody. Right. Well, I mean, nothing's really been said, so maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't happen. I don't know. I'm, like I said, it's just, but I'll say this much, because right? I this is the first, this is the most I've watched WWE in a long time between the Raw that I mm -hmm. watched that you suggested and WrestleMania yesterday. Even though I technically watched the rest of it like in the background, right. It felt refreshing to me not seeing, like, part-timers being pushed all the time, other than yeah. if you consider the main event. But even then, at least that's one match that you have to deal with. I mean, I feel like last year there would have been, like, four or five matches that had part-timers in it. Right. I better heal, because I'm getting low on health. Um... What are your thoughts on that? Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, how do I do that again? Huh. Right, gimmicks, Unless it's something in here. Oh, Tig. Here it is. There we go. To Jacques. No, I, I, I agree with you. Because last year, we would have had... Like, Brock would have been involved. Um... I'm trying to think who else are considered part Whoa, 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 hold on. Whoa! What the? Hmm. 
Wait, did he just lose on my behalf here? Oh no, good, okay, I'm still in. How quick did he lose? Oh my, okay. He really is a shock ass. Yeah, he sucks. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, last year. Go in the card from last year. Let's see. How many part-timers right, were on there? Right. I want to say there was at least four. Year's WrestleMania. We'll start with night one. Mm -hmm. Austin Theory defeated John Cena. All right, so there's one right there. Yep. Uh, we had a fatal four-way tag match. Street Profits, Braun Strowman and Ricochet, Alpha Academy, and the Viking Ring. Okay, that's all right. That doesn't count. Sure. Seth Rollins against Logan Paul. So he's... Arguably a part-timer still, but he definitely is then, so that's two. Yeah. In the span of three matches. All right. Trish Stratus, Lita, and Becky Lynch defeated Damage Control. There's three and four. See, like, Rey it's such a difference, just even that little... Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Rey Mysterio defeated Dominic Mysterio. Okay. Rhea Ripley defeated Charlotte Flair. Pat McAfee defeated The Miz. Five. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defeated The Usos. So that's night one. Night two, Brock Lesnar defeated Omos. Six. I'd even say seven with Omos. Okay, fine. Let's say seven. All right, then we had a women's four-way tag match. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, Natalya and Shotzi, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. So is that eight because of Ronda? I guess. I don't know. You tell me. Was she on every week? Mm, yeah, I think she was. Okay, so we won't count her. So we're still at seven. Gunther defeated Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. So we're good there. Bianca Belair defeated Asuka. We're good there. Uh, Snoop Dogg defeated The Miz. So, that's eight, then. And it was originally Shane against The Miz. Before Shane had that weird injury. Hmm. Uh, Edge defeated Finn Balor. That's nine. That's nine. And then Roman Reigns defeated Cody Rhodes. And that's ten. Ten! Ten part-timers. And what we, we had two last night, but... They advance the story for today. Yes. Like they're adding something. So I don't know. It's 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 noticeably different to me as far as that goes. And I really hope that that's what they continue to do is maybe have like one part timer, or yeah, like one part timer per show instead of this overload. That's because tonight is there any other part timers other than Roman? Logan? Well, I still think. Uh I want you to look up Logan Paul, like, signs new contract, because I do think that he's, okay. for some reason, not a part-timer anymore. Okay, I'll look him up. Okay. This guy's hard. I have nothing to... Uh, they won't let me use the slam shake for some reason. Okay, so this is... Rewarded with a new contract in April last year. Okay. It was reported as a multi-year contract featuring appearances at premium live events, though it was said that Paul's salary was $15 million over three years. Mm. However, this was later debunked by Ringside News, who described the rumored figures as outrageous. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me see if there's another article. Maybe that can... Alright, we move on. Yay, you won. That was hard. Oh, look at Slimy. Keep going up levels, even though you're not doing Yay. anything for me. God, look at him. He's so useless.
All right, green jean. All right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But there it is in plain red, green, and white. Muchacho Man and Jacques have beaten Bad Boy and his compatriot, Rad Cod. You know what this means, Cordero? Yeah, yeah. I'll get you your batteries. That's not all, amigo. What do you mean? It was a fur versus fleece match. You have to shave. Ha ah, ha ha. Arg. Gracias, amigos. Man, it's been so long. I forgot how good winning can feel. Sometimes, my burrow friend, you've got to write your own script. Uh -huh. Look, looks like you'll be moving up in the circuit now, Jacques. Yeah, and I don't have to shave my fur. Hee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> your hee-haw. That reminds me, I have an Esquilado to check out. Come on, the Bruder and Barbe. Hola, Cardero. How I've come about our wager. Dios mio! Live it up, you hairless apes. Hey, who are you calling hairless? <laughs> I guess you should think twice before betting against the spice, eh, Cordero? Whatever. Just take your batteries and get out of here. It's too big, you couldn't have... You couldn't have used these to supercharge your performance in the ring, Cordero. Ha <laughs> ha hmm. You won't be so triumphant when I tell the Heliphant about this. Ooh. Just a minute, Pepper Breath. You ruined a pretty good gig for me, you know that? Oh, so this is Mace, let's see. Um... Stealing is wrong, Radcon. Perhaps you should find an honest line of work. Yes, I can see that you are quite skilled in thievery and underhanded tactics. Radcon, of all the jobs in the sea, how did you fall into this dishonorable profession? Um, let's do this one. Radcon, of all the jobs in the sea, how did you fall into this dishonorable profession? Fish has got to eat. More than crow, anyways. Hey, what do you toys even eat? I've seen you in the ring, though, Prescador. There is a fire inside those fins. You are built for more than thieving. You think I don't want more? Man, the reason I started in the battery game was to stay one fin ahead of the fish hook. So I didn't think. So I didn't end up like all those other bottom feeders. Us knockoff toys. We got a hard lot, buddy. No one wants to own us. Wants to play with us. Red Cod, I too am trying to make my way in the world. I started at the bottom of Boxwood, thwarted by the elephant himself. Now I stand in defiance of him and his scripted matches. Eh, easy for you to say. You're a wrestler. Oh no, Prescador. Prescador. You don't have to be a wrestler to be a hero. Come with us and see what it feels like to do some slamming you can be proud of. Come with you. <laughs> I do need a way out of this jungle. All right, fine. I'm coming. For now. But don't think this means I'm part of your school. You can't be anyways, fish. It burned down. How does he know the school burned down? He's so far he was away. There. No, he was there, remember? Was he? I, but Toy Box yeah. Jimmy just learned about it. Okay, I'm gonna believe you. What? 
I'll, I'll explain later. Red card. All right, now let's go rescue me. Uh, oh, see, he's not dead, Bill. Let's go rescue Neon Greybird and get out of this jungle. Neon Greybird is alive and well, apparently. Oh, lovely. <laughs> You're so thrilled. <laughs> Bill, this has been a very productive stream storyline-wise. Yeah. Because we only have... This is maybe the most productive in a long <laughs> time. I almost want to get to a puzzle thing just so uh, when we head off, I can just do it off recording but i don't know when that's gonna happen so where right. are we going here what are we doing oh we're gonna rescue neon Gravebird, apparently let's see where he is let's go to store first so bill what's question for you about last night's wrestlemania okay was it just me and was i or was i imagining something that i thought that tag team ladder match, there was supposed to be a mystery team. Yeah, so there had been rumors, like the week before leading up, that one of the teams was going to get pulled out of the match. And, like, the rumor was they were going to get replaced with either the Dudley Boys or the Motor City Machine Gun because the guns are no longer in TNA. Mm -hmm. So I kind of kept waiting to see if this was going to happen until the bell rang. And then once the bell did ring, it didn't happen. But yeah, I kind of had that thought too. Yeah, I just didn't think I, I... I thought maybe like I missed something or... But I don't know how they would have been able to pull it off with... You know, not doing a... St I, I don't know. Now, is there supposed to be... How is how's the reception... Because, I mean, I, I feel like this is more of a Russ question, but maybe you can answer it. How is mm -hmm. the reception tonight one? Uh, it's been positive. Okay. Um, from what I've seen, the people thought it was a good show, like I had said earlier. Um... The, the la like I said earlier, I think the last two matches were the best matches, and that's kind of the vibe that I've been getting from people. Mm -hmm. Um, so night one came out positive. Um, it was good, not great, but it was good. Right. What do you think the match of the night's gonna be tonight? Probably Cody and Roman. Okay. Now, so are you? You you sound like you might be on Team Roman Reigns retains again. Is that true well, or no? No, I I want Cody to win. I just have this feeling. Because the thing is, when the when they did the match or made the match originally, they put in a stipulation. I just, I, by the way, I had just realized, I'm like, you know what? We've gone almost two hours, and I did not save once. I just wow. did that now. Look at that. Just, well, no, because if then all of a sudden this turned off on me. Yeah. I would have lost everything. Anyway, go ahead. So anyway, The Rock and Roman put in a stipulation that if Cody does not win... Wow, this, look at that! What is it? Oh! Ooh. Wow! What a save! <laughs> that was a nice big time save. Thank you, Jim. Thank God. Oh my God. Nice. I don't you. know why I thought to save either. There was no real reason to. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. That's so incredible. Anyway, yeah, so they made the stipulation if Cody does not win this match, this is his last shot. He does not get another shot. Okay. So it's basically kind of like AEW when he had the match with Jericho. Right. Where if he doesn't win, he's never getting another shot. Ooh, yeah. 
Let's see. Yep, it saved it. Good. Yep. Thank God. You know, maybe I should have like have you remind me when we do these streams like this to mm -hmm. maybe like save about every half hour to forty five minutes. Like yeah, like set a timer for yourself. Like oh, Jim, you better save. I'm like all right, because that definitely could have been worse for sure. Mm -hmm. After everything we went through. Unless it turns off again, because then I'm going to be like, there's an error here. Yeah. All right, I got nervous there for a second because it wasn't loading. So what are we doing with Muchacho Man now? Let's, am I going here? Ooh. Is it Jake, uh, Jake's statue? No, it doesn't, not really telling me. It doesn't tell me to go back out again. Um, any news coming in right now? Because we're probably going to end uh, the stream in like within the half hour. Let me check. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I saw the Slammy Awards happened. Yeah, I did not watch that. I didn't think you were going to. Yeah. Okay, so according to Mike Johnson... WWE is finalizing plans, but currently Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre is slated to be the opening match. Mm -hmm. There will be a Paul Levesque appearance before the live crowd tonight. Expect a big, in quotations, entrance for Seth Rollins. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't, that's a and, very weird... I mean, I guess because he is technically... He's their champion, or one of them. And also, Snoop Dogg is in Philly. Ugh. They can't help themselves. But the question is, will there be more advertisements tonight than last night, or will there be less? <laughs> but you never really answered me. Is that is that like in every WWE pay-per-view now? Like, no, that, many that was the first time. Oh, God, so much. And I'm not one that is annoyed by advertisements that much. But I was like, I can't. Dang. Like, I don't know how, how people can do this. <laughs> I know. No, that was the first time I'd, I, I've seen so much advertising like that. Wait, don't tell me to, please don't tell me you want me to go back to the caves. Is that where this is guiding me? <laughs> I don't know where the hell they want me to go. No, oh, but it's going down and down into the right. Just avoid that pig. That's I all am. I'm gonna say. I am. Avoid it. It's a very, very angry pig. <laughs> I did see. Did you see the thing with um? Depending how you look at it, I was gonna say randomly, but maybe not so much. Uh, all of a sudden, Dustin Rhodes is getting a world title shot this Wednesday. No, I didn't. Yeah. Like, come on, guys. Like, I'm all about defending you guys when I feel like it. But I'm like, why? Because Cody's doing it tonight. Like, there's no reason for that. Well, Just actually, like, actually, actually, let me pull up his record for this. Year. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, let's see if we can actually be justified somehow. That's actually a good idea. All right. So you're saying he is getting a, a title match. Again, Samoa Joe. I think so. I think I read that. Look it up. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's an eliminator match. Oh, so it's, it's not a title match. It's just him. Right. Okay. Boy, this and looks safe. Does Dustin deserve the Eliminator match? That's another, That's another good question. question. While you look it up, I'm going to start my tea and look at this thing. What do you think this is all about? Whoa. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me get another tea refill. Holy cow, that looks like, uh, gets sucked into one of those warps. You know what I mean, folks? Getting sucked into like the Twilight Zone or something. Oh, 
Look at that thing, my goodness. Gatorkin Village. Okay, what's his record? All right, his 2024 record is <laughs> four and one. That's better than I thought it was going to be. So, I guess, yeah, he does deserve this I mean, opportunity. He, yeah, he definitely has the right to ask for this. It's just the timing I'm not a huge fan of. because I'm and, like, and his AEW career record is pretty good, too. It's 45 and 19. That's very surprising, because I feel like he always loses. <laughs> All right, let me be Manders. <clears throat> So you thought your outfit was too bright? Am, am I neon? I don't, I don't remember. I'll have you be neon. All right. Exactly. I knew I needed to darken my image up a bit, but I didn't want to go too far. Then I'd just have the same problem, but in the other direction. No time for fashion talk now, future boots. Hey, watch out. Watch it. Did you guys figure it out? Did you fix the well? What? You've returned. Good. Time is up. The spirit well demands a sacrifice. Unless, of course, you found a way to fix our spirit well. Huh. <sighs> I bet we could fix him instead. <laughs> Let's see. The spirit well shall glow once more, amigos. <laughs> Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps the spirit well does not need a sacrifice. And that sacrifice is you, Largato, or whatever. Uh, I guess they'll be. We'll fight him. Hmm. I guess that was bad. I don't know. I, got, I heard a boop sound. Right. Watch, he's gonna be the toughest enemy of the. the I should have. Yeah. I should have healed before I did this. But all right. Uh, so Dustin, your thoughts on Dustin getting the title shot? Um, you know what? I with what we found out with his overall record and his 2024 record. Yeah, I, I think he deserves an opportunity. I don't think he'd win, but I think no. he deserves an opportunity. Do you think that they're gonna make it a squash match? Why like, Samoa Joe so good? Maybe. Do you think that uh, that Brandy shows up tonight? Yes, Brandy will show up tonight. Wow, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. Think. Well, I'm not. I'm hoping to not jinx this, but but it, to be fair, I did level up a lot in that yeah. stupid cave that I hope to never go back to for the rest of my life. <laughs> I should have bought more of the better du the duct tape, but uh. Ch -ch -ch. Ring the bell. Once again, Slimy. <laughs> Maybe Slimy's the big guy all along. Like, I've been leveling it up and he's gonna fight me. Right. Ugh. Oh, see. We beat you down harder than we beat the jungle, Lagarto. Barbe. Stop. You don't have to hurt them. But it does make it much easier. These scaly villains never saw the spice coming for them, did they? They should bottle me up and use me for mace, man. Oh, see. You're a creep. All right, Neon, you're saved. How do you feel about that? 
Glad that's over. Thanks for saving me. Don't mention it, dude. Can you still open up the way to Malibu Heights? By the way, I don't know if anyone's getting the sound in the background, but there's something going on with the pipes right now. So in case anyone that's listening on the replay hears something, that's what it is. It's not something on your end. And now it's gone. Okay, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> sure can, <clears throat> now that I'm free. But I wanted to ask you something. Why did you want to leave Boxwood anyways? The brooder? Let's just say I had some investments turn out differently than what I had planned. Anyways, we're going to Malibu Heights for the mall brawl. You? In the mall brawl? Ha! Get serious, Bruder. Elephant would never let a third-rate has-been like you set foot in the mall brawl. The Bruder is no has-been. He and his 26-inch cobras got us through the jungle, and they helped us save your sorry beak. So cut the sarcasm and show the man some respect. <laughs> Right. I, uh, I'm sorry. Either way, I'll go on ahead and clear the way so you can continue on to Malibu Heights. Though it's gonna involve a little cosmic detour. What is that supposed to mean? You'll see. Come on, amigos. It's time to go shopping. Oh, see. I just went shopping and spent a lot of money. I hope there's nothing else I need to buy. Wow. Mythic double E's. Goodbye to the jungle. Well, I guess that's the last, one of the last things we're going to wind up doing on this stream is we're going to say goodbye to the jungle. Bye, jungle. <laughs> oh, we're back here again. Okay, hold on just a moment. Yep. How How's the groin, ranger? It'll heal. Brink, listen. What you did up there. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry for the improvisation. I just wanted to preserve the original direction of the match. Son, you did more than that. You gave me. Gave us. Better send off than we could have asked for. Yeah, that was some quick thinking in there. Tell the truth, Brink. I wish it was you that was protecting our honor, and not that juice box guy, like Mr. Font wrote it. <coughs> I. Uh, thank you, but I trust Mr. Font's instincts. I understand, son. You're obedient and loyal. Admirable qualities. Just don't let your obedience compromise your values. Well, <coughs> that's enough out of me. What do you say, Bradshaw? What I do, transfer my coal to you? Head to the mess <laughs> hall? Not a bad intro for the honest bucks, eh? You know it. Now... Before we get too cocky, let's see Mr. Font about our follow-up match. I was just getting used to winning, too. BDS Revengeance. Let me get my tea. And then we'll see what's going on, because uh, I'm, I'm going to at least stay... I'd like to stay... I'm probably going to stay on for a little bit longer. So let me... Like, I might do this one tea and then maybe be out a little after that. But, um... I don't know, t talk to about how, about what you think the worst match is going to be for tonight. Oh, gosh. The worst match tonight. It might be that street fight. Um, I've never been a Carrion Cross fan. And the Authors of Pain... I'm kind of indifferent, and there's a guy on a basketball hoop. Oh, he did a corkscrew plancha moonsault off the basketball hoop. Oh, my goodness. That was something. 
Oh my gosh. Um, but I think like Lashley and the Street Profits are just getting wasted in this opportunity in in this moment. So I, I'm hoping it's better than I think it will be, but I don't know. I just don't know. What's going on? No, I. While I was talking, some wrestler, he did a corkscrew plancha off the top of a basketball hoop. <laughs> okay. But it no. Looked pretty dope. But you know, no name on the wrestler. No, I. I they yeah, they don't have like the effect, you know, graphics of the name, so oh. I wouldn't. All right, so let's get to the next area here where you you do that. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, we're supposed to talk to LF Font. Let me see how much of this I could do without Bill being here. Um, that was some quick. That was some quicking thinking out there, Brink. You saved the match and the United Front's reputation. Oh, well, there goes that. I gotta wait for Bill to come back. Look, I don't... Actually, to be honest with you, I've actually felt <clears throat> not as bad as I did this morning. I think it's because of all the tea that I'm drinking. Uh, so I might... I don't think I'm gonna stay on for this, but I am gonna go back to my Children of Morta game maybe a little bit later on before WrestleMania. Or maybe I might even do Children of Morta when I need a break from WrestleMania. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm... Kind of sucks because I did want to do a couple things later, but I'm definitely not up to it because of my sickness. This game, though, first off, I will say this. It's absolute garbage that it resets like that. I don't know why. I think that's a complaint against the game for sure um, because we don't know when it ha gonna ha it's going to happen. But now, when the game gets moving, like what we've been doing for this whole stream... That's when I like the game. It's the puzzles and the the puzzles and the random, oh, we're going to shut the game off now. This is a digital game, folks. Like, it's not as if, oh, I hit my switch and the thing got loose. No, it's digital. All right. All right. I'm back. I was just saying what I like about the game and what I don't like. Right. I was saying how I like when we're, like, this, is a, this has been a great stream progress-wise. Like, yeah. a lot of stories happen. When it gets like that, I really like this game. But then we get to the puzzles, like the stupid colored caves and the whatever other one, the junkyard stuff. The puzzles suck. And also, I don't like this random turn off that it has been doing. Because, yeah. a, again, it's a digital game, so you can't even say, it's, oh, I hit something. Exactly. I don't have a physical copy in there. It's, anyway. All right, Brink, go ahead. You're up. Thank you, sir. I'm glad it worked out. Okay, ready for some mic work before the next fight? The plan is for you to deny any wrongdoing in the last match. You know, healing up real big. So we want to kick up some negative hype? Exactly. Then Big Daddy Squeeze comes out and challenges you to restore MWL's honor. Put him down three times, but let him kick out. Then he'll finish you guys off. Got it? Uh, okay. I don't. I don't. Definitely don't need practice. So we'll just start the match. Yeah, let's just do it. Throw down with Big Daddy Squeeze. Hey. It's you, Green Jean. Oh, now, hold on, I gotta get it, there we go. Now, you honest bucks, we've called you back to the ring here because there was a discrepancy in the last match. Let's see, oh, this is you, so you've got to pick. And let me see the options, they are, discrepancy, the only discrepancy was that those old dogs were even allowed near the ring. Maybe you should get your eyes checked, Gene. We won that one fair and square. Just a couple of honest folks doing what they do best. I like the second one. This one, maybe you should get your eyes checked? Yes. Okay. Mm. 
chew green jean. Come on now, you can't honestly tell me that you think bringing a foreign object like that chair into the ring was fair game? Oh yeah, when Stag went to business for himself. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. <laughs> Maybe some vitamin J will make them come clean, Jean. Vitamin J. Big Daddy Squeeze, are you? Hey, let me tell you something, Jean. The only thing I hate more than cheaters is hillbillies. Psst. What is he talking about? That has nothing to do with United Front. <gasps> is Big Daddy Squeeze going into business for himself? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I think he might be. Good brink. Alright. He he seems out of control. He's going to ruin the promo. Okay, let's go. Gene! We deny any wrongdoing in that last match. That chair was considered part of the ring. We... Gene, these two hicks don't deserve to be on the same stage as me. Nope, oh, you again. Alright, I had to get a drink there. Sure, no problem. Alright, let's see. You don't deserve to be in the same toy box as these fine soldiers you juice had. <laughs> These hicks are going to turn you into a pile of bricks, you up-jumped click toy, just like we did to you, Dida. I like you don't deserve to be in the same toy box as these fine soldiers. Okay, there it is. Ah, bricks show click click, you know what I mean, best, what? <laughs> that real sad, look, try that again. Ah, bricks Joe, click click, you know. You know what I mean? It's not me, right? Like, this sentence is just I'm bat mean, wild. Bet now. Yeah. Ugh. Bricks Joe, click, click. You know what I'm the mean best now? Okay, it's not just me, all right. Is he okay? <laughs> we broke him. We both broke Big Daddy Squeeze. Yes. Hey, I'm just the guy trying to make it on his book. Alright, let's see. Brink, this dude's off his rocker. I think he'll try to take us out before we can complete the script. Just stay cool, man. They call me the professional for a reason. Alright, so let's see. Attempt to pin Big Daddy Squeeze but let him kick out. Okay, let's... We can do this. Yeah, that's easy. It's easy. Just gotta get him to zero help. Oh, the maple moonshot. That seems new. Let's try the maple maple uh, thing. The maple moonshot. Moon, moon Let's see what that looks like. Herded, I thought he said like herded squirted. This guy is off his rocker now after that last exchange. <laughs> Let's see, we got Slash and Mash. I, don't think, I think that's new. Let's see, we'll try that one now. Oh, now he's stunned. And then we'll just take him out with a nice little punch. All right, so wait, attempt to pin Big Daddy Squeeze, but let him kick out. So what, is that when I miss, or is that when the timer goes I from 10 to 1? miss. That's when I miss. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Let's try it. We'll give him a 2, though. Now attempt to pin Big, da Big Daddy Squeeze and let him kick out again. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, not the straw. Oh. Is it plastic though? That's the question. That is a great question, actually. Now, how late do you think tonight's show is going to be? Well, it starts at 7. Um, I think it's going to end a little after 11. Okay. So now we gotta let him kick out again. Oh, we're actually gonna do it another time too, apparently, because it's the next thing. Okay. I mean, this, he's easy enough, to be fair. Yeah. Unless all of a sudden he does a ridiculous attack right now. Mm hmm. Wait, Bill, I have to say, I really like the, um, the Rock's current entrance. It is good. It, it, it is good. Um, I'm not sure where, where it would rank among, like, his best themes, but it is really good. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the lightning bolt and all that. Yeah. This guy, a strong palmer. Do you think Stag's gonna go off the script again after this? Maybe. <laughs> Is anything announced for Dynasty since that's going to be the next time we get together for this? Yeah, they have announced matches. What we got? Okay, so the main... Let me pull it up. Actually. We'll talk about that for some time. Yeah. Where is Because that's, yeah. what, like two weeks away at this point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two weeks away. Okay, so main event is Samoa Joe defending the AEW title against uh, Swerve Strict. Oh, wow. Oh, hell it ain't that easy to beat the squeezy. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, his attack's going to be ridiculously hard. Or that happens. Uh-oh. I mean, I still have 890 HP. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen... Your wiener after a dramatic comeback, Big Daddy Squeeze. He didn't even pin me. What? <laughs> Confused. And of course, yeah. LF Font goes up a level. At least Brink went up too. Did we just get a screw job ending here? <laughs> Did you see that lunk? He tried to take my antlers off. <laughs> I don't know if how they could. It's probably attached, but anyway. <laughs> I I know. He was completely unhinged. Let's steer clear of him until we can bring this up with Mr. Font. Agreed. There's no time for that right now anyways. Sergeant Slaughter is about to give his speech. Oh, God. Well, what a speech this is going to be. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, maggots. Well, let's go Sergeant Slaughter's speech, and then we'll, if we have time, we'll talk about AEW and how their Dynasty show looks. Where is Dynasty? Do we know? Uh, St. Louis. Mm -hmm. 
You can find me in St. Louis. All right, Luch Luchador, you're up. Sergeant, sir, my amigos and I have a gift for you. This, this, private, I'm speechless. I can't thank you enough. This was the itty ditty bitty bag, right? Or whatever the hell it's right. called. Okay. You got the itty ditty bitty bag. Not just me, Sergeant. The honest box were with me every step of the way. At least some people are more honorable than that juice box, eh? You could say that again. Thank you, boys. This is just what I needed. All right, here we go with the speech. <laughs> Yeah, you better get a drink because you're going to do a lot here, I think. His farewell address. I don't know where he's going, but probably his farewell address. All right, here we go. All right. That's enough, you maggots. Quiet. For years now, the Military Wrestling League has defended the glory fields. Defended it from enemies. Defended it from wrestling mediocrity. Now, their time is coming to a close. Today, my itty ditty, itty bitty ditty bag was returned to me. I've sent entire platoons of enemies home in this bag. Entire brigades mashed up and mailed home to Mama. But, MWL soldiers and wrestlers. Even this bag cannot contain the amount of respect and admiration I have for your service. Now, your mission is at an end. Your flag is coming down. Now it is time to head home. Time to heal. Time to rest. And that, my dear compatriots, is an order. Your mission is at an end. Fitting words for the end of MWL, but not for PAW, not for us. I'm traveling to Malibu Heights to prepare for the Mole Brawl event. It's a block tower match with a big payoff with some headlining PAW superstars like Dash Talent and Big Daddy Squeeze. My information, my informants tell me there might be a spicy and unwelcome surprise there as well. Something you want me to take care of, Mr. Font? Not yet. As for you two, the Honest Bucks are headed south to San Sebastian to start a feud with grad school. That tyrannical heel stable? Oh, sounds more like some some wrestlers that would be in the college wrestling promotion. Yep. <laughs> the very same. I'll have some scripts awaiting for you uh, waiting for you when you land. Just go up to the docks and the boat will take you down near San Sebastian. San Sebastian? Isn't that where Lochador's from? Yes, you're right. We should see if he could give us the scoop on the local scene. Let's ask him about it. Meet Lochador at the gates. Where are you, Lochador? At the gates. Where are the gates? That would be a good thing to find. Yeah. This way? There he is. Okay. The honest bat. Here to say goodbye, I presume? We're headed to San Sebastian for PAW's Tag Team Division Championship. We thought you could give us some tips, since that's your home turf. Or surf, I guess. Caramba! You're going to San Sebastian? This is wonderful news! 
My wife and I would be insulted if you did not let us repay the debt I owe you for helping me recover Sergeant Slaughter's relic. Speaking of which, Sergeant Slaughter wanted to meet us to give us a reward for our efforts. You could say that again, Private. Well, there he is. You boys have grit like I haven't seen in years. Makes me think I got a few more tours of duty in me. Yeah, he's a D. <laughs> I'm saying that if that I'm your new manager, boys. Well, Mr. Slaughter, er, Sergeant, I. Quit your stuttering. This won't be a walk in the park. You hear me, maggot? Get ready for boot camp like you've never seen before. Oh. Have fun doing the Sergeant Slaughter voice for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Shall we be off? All right. I'm looking forward to some San Bastiano food. Elo carnitas. Maybe a fish taco. Uh, forget that last one, okay. Go back to the dot. So, that's weird. We have Sergeant Slaughter as a party member now. Alright, we'll go to the docks and then I think we're probably going to be heading out of here in a little bit. Yeah. Because my tea's almost gone and we've been at it for... Over the allotted time, but I mean, like I said, sometimes if I'm feeling up to it, I'll, I'll stay on. Even if you were like, oh, I, you have to go, I might have still stayed on yeah. for like a half hour. Yeah. So. Yes. Let's see. Okay, so while he's walking, uh, the current card for Dynasty. So I already said Samojo, Swerve Strickland's the main event. Mm -hmm. Will Ospreay against Brian Danielson. Okay, that'll be good. Julia Hart defends the TBS title against Willow Nightingale. Mm-hmm. Tony Storm defends the AEW women's title against Thunder Rosa. Okay. The finals of the tag team title tournament, the Young Bucks against FTR. All right. And a six-man tag, Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe against the House of Black. Okay, that's a kind of a weird team. Like, all right, whatever. All right, Brink, you're up. I, I shouldn't be here. This isn't part of my mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean you shouldn't be there? Yeah, really. The, What's going on? The thing says to go that way. Huh? Oh, don't thing. forget to save. Oh, thank you. What does he... I guess there's another exit somewhere? No, I can't go that way. Hmm. Confused. Right, let me try... Because they said to the docks, right? Yeah, to the docks. Oh. Stuck over there. I think you're going further away. I know, but that's, I was where I thought they wanted me to be. And that wasn't the right way, because apparently it's not his mission, or whatever the fuck he said. Hmm? Well, maybe this is just another sign that we're stopping in the next couple minutes anyway, so... I'll, tr I'll try going. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere down here. Yeah, see, this only brings me here, and that's where the exclamation point is. I shouldn't be here. This isn't part of my mission. What is part of your mission, Brink? Do I have to go back to the camp for some reason? I'll try that and then look around a little bit and then we'll head out of here. Yeah. Just because I want to see what I'm supposed to be doing here next. Here's the camp. It doesn't seem like this. Well, there's a big Brink Logan face up here. 
maybe that's where you're oh at. no this is this guy again remember i think this is we weren't we did this before but the game shut off so we it right. never got saved so i'll do this offline i know what this is we're off recording okay because we already we technically did it already by the way how do you think that stupid broccoli's doing <laughs> i completely forgot about the broccoli. i just remembered him because there's a side quest like the broccoli Oh my. What's his name again? Do you remember? Disco something, right? I don't. I don't remember. Right. Oh wait, look, I'm on up here. Maybe this is where I gotta go then. Up and down. Oh no, I think this is give, making me go with the same thing. What the hell? Where do you guys want me to go? All right, I guess this is where we're going to end it then. Yeah. All right, Bill, why don't you tell people where they can find you, and then we'll head out of here. All right, you can follow me on Twitter at House of Bill, and follow me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. As for me, it's That's Podcasting on Instagram, and, of course, official RP Jimmy on YouTube and Twitch, and we uh, this go series goes weekly temporarily um, starting later today. And again, the goal is for us to be doing this again for Dynasty, which you told me is in two weeks, right? Yes. It's a Sunday. No? Or yes. 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 Okay. So maybe we'll see you then. If not, check both of our um, social medias to see and confirm what time that would be. All right, everyone. Later.